Hi, my name is Chris Searcy. I'm a 13-year veteran of the Firefighter Combat Challenge. As a husband, father of twins, and on the job at three firehouses, I understand how difficult it can be to find the time to maintain a good fitness program. Stay tuned as we demonstrate brief tutorials on effective functional fitness training and how these workouts can support your personal health and be done between calls right at the fire station. Today is part one of our functional fitness segments. Unlike the isolation training you experience during our core segment, functional fitness includes multi-joint and multi-muscle groups. It's also one of the most effective forms of fitness to improve performance and involves movements you do every day on the job. Since most functional movements are done from a standing or upright position, they automatically engage your core and improve its overall strength. So let's go through a few functional movements that you can do around the firehouse with virtually no equipment. Squats are great because they build muscle throughout your entire body and increase your mobility and balance. For a basic air squat, stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Keep your knees centered above your feet and bring your shoulders back like you're squeezing a tennis ball between your shoulder blades. Slowly bend your knees and hips. As you do this, raise your arms out in front of your body and keep your weight on your heels. Return to a straight upright position and repeat. To make it more challenging, add weights or an SCBA. For jumping squats, use your arms for balance. Jump straight up with as much force as you can. This exercise activates your core and lower back muscles. For a jumping squat split, stagger your feet no more than shoulder width apart. Lower your body as if placing one knee on the floor, but don't let it touch. Once you've reached this point, jump as high as you can and switch your legs in the air. You should have landed with feet in opposite positions. Lower your knee again and repeat. Next is the farmer's carry. Think of this exercise as building that endurance you need after you've entered a structure on fire, broken through walls, and need to rescue a trapped victim. If you have weights around the firehouse, grab those or fill buckets with water or sand. Pick a straight line and simply walk forward approximately 100 feet or 30 meters. You can also do an uneven farmer's carry. You can either carry one weight in one hand, making sure your core is engaged, or you can carry two objects of different weights, such as a fire extinguisher and a chainsaw. For more quick training tips, check out the rest of our Draeger FireFit training videos or head to our Facebook page for more resources.